Namaste friends from the snow capped mountain of the north to the tropical landscape of the south India's hydraulic network plays a vital role in maintaining our environment so let's dive in and uncover the hidden wonders of the Indian drainage system hi everyone and welcome to my channel dibosphere friends in this video we are going to be talking about the indian drainage system we all know india is a vast country with a diverse landscape and its drainage system reflects this diversity in our country there are two major river division the first one is the himalayan drainage system which is the largest in india friends himalayan river system includes the ganga the indus and the brahmaputra rivers these rivers are fed by the melting snow and glacier of the himalayas and they flow through some of the most densely populated areas in india friends our journey begins with the iconic ganges river also known as the ganga friends if you look at the video ganga stretches for approximately 2500 km and originates from the gangotri glacier in the himalayas which is been reflected by the arrow line the famous tributaries are yamuna the ram ganga gomti ghagra gandak and koshi ganga is flowing through states like uttarakhand uttar pradesh bihar and west bengal the ganges is not only a significant water source but also holds immense culture and religious importance for millions of hindus friends after ganga let's journey to the northeast to explore the brahmaputra river with a length of around 2900 km where in india only 916 km is present it originates from east mansarovar lake tibet and flow through arunachal pradesh and assam the famous tributaries are subansiri ranga nadi manas and dhansiri friends if you look at the diagram brahmaputra river later merges with the ganges and the meghna river in bangladesh brahmaputra plays a crucial role in assam's economy but it's also known for its recurring floods after brahmaputra traveling westward we reach the indus river let's talk about indus river it spans approximately 2880 km where in india 3114 km is present and originates from west mansarovar lake tibet the famous tributaries are jaskar river jhilam river chenab river ravi river bias and sutlej here if you look at the diagram along indus journey it passes through ladakh in india also touching parts of pakistan and china the indus river holds historical significance as it was the lifeline of the indus valley civilization now we'll move to the second largest important river system of our country the peninsula drainage system which is smaller than the himalayan drainage system but it is still on important part of the indian landscape peninsula river system includes river such as narmada the tapi mahanadi godavari the krishna and the kaveri these peninsular rivers flow through the deccan plateau and they are important for irrigation and agriculture friends now let's head to central india and explore the narmada river the narmada river covers about 1312 km and originate from the amarkantak plateau in madhya pradesh the famous tributaries are helan heron banjar dudhi and so on friends if you look at the diagram narmada flows through madhya pradesh and gujarat supporting agriculture and playing a role in hydropower generation through dam like the sardar sarovar dam moving little south towards narmada it is known as tapi river and originates in multai betul district of madhya pradesh tapi river is flowing through madhya pradesh maharashtra and gujarat This river covers a distance of about 724 km. The famous tributaries are Bhaki, Arunavati, Panjara and Gomai 
so on. Its journey takes it through diverse landscapes and communities. Friends, now let's move towards the east. The Mahanadi is the longest river in the Indian state of Odisha. The Mahanadi river is 900 kilometers long. It is originated from Shivava Hills. Shivava Hills is very near to Chotanagpur Plateau which is in Chhattisgarh and it flows through the eastern ghats before emptying into the Bay of Bengal. Friends, now moving to the southern part of India, we encounter the Godavari River which is also known as Dakshin Ganga. It stretches for approximately 1465 kilometers and starts from Timbakeshwar Plateau, Maharashtra. This river traverses through Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and even touches parts of Chhattisgarh. The famous tributaries are Purna, Manjara, Venganga, Penganga, Vardha, Pranhita and so on. The Godavari is the second longest river in India and a vital source of water for irrigation. Now friends farther down to south, we come across the Krishna river. It spans around 1400 kilometers with its source in Mahabaleshwar, Maharashtra. The famous tributaries are Ghatprabha, Malprabha, Bhima, Tungabhadra, Musi and so on. Flowing through Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, the Krishna river supports agriculture and hosts significant dams like Nagarjuna Sagar Dam and the Pong Dam. Friends, our final river on this journey is Kaveri River. With a length of about 800 km, it originates in Tal Kaveri, Brahmagiri Range in Western Ghat in Karnataka. The famous tributaries are Himavati, Amaravati, Kavini, Lokapavani, Vavani and Tirtha, so on. Flowing through Karnataka and Tamil Nadu as well as part of Kerala and Puducherry, the Kaveri is essential for agriculture in the region but it has also been a source of water disputes. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of some of the most prominent rivers in India. These rivers are not just geographical features, they shape our culture, economy and history. Friends, remember this knowledge will serve you well not only in your exams but also in understanding the intricate geography of our incredible country. We reach at end of today's session. Thank you for choosing Dibbosphere as your learning companion. We'll meet very soon 